Jeff Ferris on the Hot Homestead. Today's video is just on my inverter. My inverter is a Samlex 2200 24 volts input, 120 output, 2200 watts, peaks at it will peak at uh, 6000. Alright, so on the inside of the inverter we have I don't know how well it's going to come out, but we have the way it reads on this is you have output, neutral ground line, then you have a generator, neutral ground line, and then you can tie this particular inverter into the grid. Well, my nearest power line is two miles away, so that ain't going to work. So, this first one here is obviously this wire that's in here is um, 6 gauge and I went with 6 gauge because of the amount of amps I'm going to be doing which is up to 60 and so 6 gauge will handle I believe it's 50 50 amps and so that's peaking at 60 so hopefully I won't be using any more than 50 at one time so 6 gauge should be fine now the way that these are connected in here you just plop them in and there's a set screw you just plop them in there's a set screws in here and so I've got the same I've got a size younger I got an 8 gauge here for the generator and 6 gauge here and now if you notice there's a little bit of the wire exposed on each one of these and that's fine now one thing that they provide now they also provide these uh, adapters if you will that actually will slide into the top I didn't use the, any of these because the size of these were different than what these sizes so you could use either one um, I don't know I guess I could have used them for the generator side but I just went with this but they come with these which are kind of nice actually because the wire would slip right down in there you'd crimp that and then you'd slide it in there and then the little set screw would hit it so it's probably a better way of doing it but I just didn't use any of these because that's too big and this well I just didn't use them now there's also on the front here so this line here is going out it's going out to my distribution box this line here is going to come I haven't hooked it up completely yet but it's going to go from my generator to the to the inverter and then that bottom piece there goes to on grid while I'm two miles from the nearest power pole so we're not going to do on grid and then this here is my ground wire I have a coded wire I just took from one of my um, 10 to uh, AC lines so this is a 10 gauge line here and I just happen to be using black I could have used bare but I wanted it coated going into the box so I just used that now on this inverter there is there's these three guys here this guy here there's some some green pieces here that I'll show you in a minute that goes on each one to to connect up some wires this top one here is for a remote start for a generator. I don't have a automated start for my generator. It's manual pull only, so I will not be using this. So if I need, normally what would happen is if it got down to a low voltage, it would automatically kick on a generator. Well, I don't have I don't have that type of generator. This is for some other type of remote. Um, this here is for a 12 volt output. So you hook up a couple of small wires into uh, into those green connectors. Down below it says communication COM 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, I don't know exactly what those are other than uh, um, I probably won't be using them. Um, I want to keep things simple. This one here is my battery temperature sensor because this is also a charger. So, And then this one here goes to my remote control which is this guy right here I don't know if you can see it with the glare I've got going here 
it says right now 27.198 volts and this here has to be connected to a terminal so I have this one connected to the right there to the uh, to the negative terminal that's pretty instructions on there now I just put the extra cord here there is a fuse right here so I got my positive going from my batteries to here my negative into there and I just covered that up I couldn't cover this one up because this stuck out too far now there's two th there's two thoughts on this fuse here some say that fuse needs to be on the positive um, terminal and yet some say it's okay to put it here um, so it's I've gotten different viewpoints um, I put it here I like it here the the folks at the uh, the place that I bought it from alternative what do you call it alternative energy discount they are a nonprofit and uh, they uh, this is the way that they have theirs hooked up so I just hooked it up the same way in fact my system is pretty much the same as theirs there is a status relay a remote on off and a 12 volt output and these guys here that's what these are so when these go in there all you have is basically two small wire deals that you put inside I don't know how well it's coming out with the glare there and then you have two set screws so like right there you got your three wires and that's just on the inverter so the inverter is actually pretty simple sound likes 2200 24 volt Jeff Arizona Hot Homestead. Don't forget to check out the playlist so that you can catch out all the uh, solar um, setup that I got and all the components and everything. And I uh, guess I'll catch you on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and I'm out.